So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. It has been a crazy day around here. If you remember yesterday, today is Monday afternoon, but on Sunday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern, we published a video and we showed the new fire starter that we're offering. And uh, we were expecting, I don't know what we were expecting, you know, 50, 75 bags. Well, it's been a lot more than that. We actually uh, had orders for about 800 bags, maybe more. This is the first 100 right here, right, Le Levi? Yeah, there's about 100 bags in here going out. Levi has been very busy today. <laughs> we, we're all a little bit overwhelmed. Yeah. Uh, Levi, you're going to put out of stock on the website right now, right? Yeah, yeah, right after So if you see that, uh, it'll just be temporary. We're going to get caught up, but uh, we're cranking them out. But uh, yeah, there's the first 100 bags right there that'll be going out. Another 700 to go uh, for the current orders. Yeah. And then uh, we'll get ahead of the game a little bit, but it, it's coming. We really appreciate everyone. Yeah, we appreciate you checking it out, placing orders. We also got a lot of merch. I've been busy inside, which is kind of nice. It's a cool day today. And I'm right by my press, which just keeps me warm. In fact, I came out to check on the guys, and I'm like, ooh, it's chilly out here. And you know, yeah. have a heat press right there in front of you. Did you expect that many orders, Levi? Not at all, no. And uh, the phone never – not that – the notifications didn't stop last night on when the orders uh, are coming yeah. in, you know. Ding, ding, and uh, ding, I'm ding. doing math at like 12:30 last night. I'm in bed just doing math, thinking I'm like, oh my gosh, this is. At midnight it was 500, yeah. and since then it's been like 300 more. But I actually dreamed. I didn't tell you this. I dreamed <laughs> about packaging the 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 actual wood the fire started packaging that. I dreamed about it all night long, <laughs> like thinking of thousands ahead of me. It's like my FedEx days when I first started there oh, in the middle of Christmas. Funny. You know, you dream about it, you hear the, the beeping and all that. <laughs> that was me last night dreaming about it. But I feel good with, uh, I mean, sure we have, you know, 700 to go, but at least I see like, okay, that's an eighth done, you know? Yeah. We got a rhythm now, you know, we got a rhythm. Right, and we're still, boom, you know, boom, we boom. Run, ran out of stock on some of the the bags that we need to package the right. threes and stuff like that so we're getting everything yeah. so i think for day one it went really well so yeah. give us a couple days it'll be back on the website and we're going to have a, a better system with the bags there's a learning curve on it all whenever yeah. you, i think your first shirt took like two whole days so oh my gosh and i know and i think you know? i cried two and a half days so, <laughs> so we're yeah. getting there there were no tears no tears in any of this so this is dried wood chips with no tears yeah it works good yeah all right it's now tuesday morning and it is an absolutely beautiful fall day here uh but we worked last night till about 10 30 packaging up fire starter we have probably one more long day of packaging and shipping so probably by wednesday afternoon hopefully we'll have most of the orders out and uh, we'll have more available probably in a week or two we'll see we'll build up an inventory and uh but right now i need to uh clean up my truck because i need to go get a load of wood chips and i'm going to wash my truck and the only reason i'm washing it is because last week if you remember when i went down to west virginia i spilled about uh, a gallon and a half of diesel fuel in the bed of the truck and i want to get that all cleaned up i have it all kind of mopped up but there's kind of a film on there so we're going to hit it with the old foam cannon get the truck cleaned up get on the road get some wood chips and then uh, when I come back, I think we're going to tear into a big uh, white pine log down on the sawmill. something here. I don't know if this will work or not, but I got some uh, new microphones. I used to use these little Rhodes, Rode Wireless Go 2 or something, and they weren't bad, but they weren't great. And then uh, Nathan, from out of the Woods YouTube channel, he filled me in on these uh, DJI I'm not sure how well you can hear me, but we're going to find out. 
would be pretty cool if I could talk while I'm running the mill. But this log right here is another uh, big white pine down in West Virginia. I'm going to saw some four quarter boards out of this and maybe even a few two by fours. Checking everything over, and as you know, I run uh, diesel fuel in my tank here. I like to give it a little shot. Then I'll uh, that's all it takes. I can make three or four cuts and maybe just turn it on to a barely a drip. That's all it takes to keep that blade clean. the inside of this. Now I've shown how this mill works before, uh, but I always get a lot of questions on it, so I'm going to show you how this works. Now I just took one slab off of that log, and then I raised the blade up well above the log, brought it all the way back. Everyone always asks, how do I know you know, how do I get the right thickness? I've got the simple set set at an inch and an eighth, okay? So I, it remembers that. I lift it up, I bring it back. This little lever right here, I'm gonna bump it down, and the mill's gonna drop down right where it needs to be. That'll give me a one inch board. The saw curve is an eighth of an inch. Make sense? One inch. This mill also has power feed, and the way that works is with this lever right here, and this knob controls the speed. So you flip it forward, make sure everything's good, turn this knob a little bit. Sometimes you gotta give it just a little bit of a push to get it moving, because it is driven like with a rope and a pulley. my uh, hydraulic log turner here and flip this pine log 180 degrees so make a little room sawmill should be coming pretty soon and I have to move this one because the uh, first of November new buildings gonna be here got some water on the bucket here not 
not to pull it towards you because the stops you know are on my side so I'll close the thumb some and scooch it over a little bit and then grab it get a good bite on it you don't want to drop it set her down release the thumb and pull it over with the teeth maybe like so and then pick it back up LT50, I've talked about it before, but uh, fully hydraulic. You'll really be able to fly through these softwoods. I mean, fly through it. You know, this right here is going to take me three or four minutes to turn this log. With that mill, it will literally be seconds. we're all set up to get some nice two by fours out of this out of these two pieces here I'll get true two inch by four inch 
Now this one over here, these will be two by threes, but I can use those as well. There's a groundhog right on the side of this yard that was the size of Piper. Really? They run out in front of you? No, it actually headed back into this, these trees. But There's been a, uh, a little buck. Our red oaks don't have any acorns this year. No. But the white oak, there's a giant white oak across the road from us. It's just polluted with acorns. And every day there's a little buck that comes from over here, crosses, or on the other side of the house, crosses. I'm afraid he's going to get hit with a car, but he's been pretty smart about it. You watch him down there and he'll... He'll kind of wait till the cars pass. And I saw him today. I put a cooler out at the end of our driveway, for eggs for sale. And he was coming this way and like stopped and looked at the cooler. Hey, deer need eggs too. Yeah. Well, we're ready to make some two by fours. Okay. measured this it is a two by four two inches by four inches but they just look huge they do <laughs> compared to uh, a store-bought two by four with the knots in this white pine I figured might as well just uh, you know make them make them a full two inch by four inch but uh, I keep talking about this white pine there is literally thousands and thousands and thousands of feet of this down there in West Virginia so we'll have more two by fours well, more anything you want, Melissa. We got the oh, wood to do it. You know what I mean? There's a lot I want. Hey, before we, uh, you want to tell them about Bunyan this weekend? Yeah, we're gonna be at the Paul Bunyan show in Cambridge, Cambridge, Ohio. We've been there the past couple years or over the years, and uh, a lot of you have come out to meet us. And we really enjoy that. So it's gonna be. We'll be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. At so. least Friday and Saturday. Are we are we scheduled for Sunday? I think one morning session we'll let them know beforehand yeah but, but yeah we'll get the times check out our instagram outdoors with the morgans and facebook outdoors with the morgans and we'll make a post with our times so you can and i'll put one on the that. community youtube page yeah as well. that's a great idea All but right. it's a great outdoor show i mean if all you love things wood related wood yeah and if you like paul bunyan he might be there so come on out the other big news around here uh definitely our favorite time of year and the leaves are starting to change I saw a nice maple out the road, it was completely red, uh, but the oaks will be a little bit, but I think it's going to be a pretty decent fall as far as fall colors go. Uh, I'm no expert at it, but we had a pretty average amount of rainfall this year. Yeah. It wasn't super hot and dry, anything like that. Uh, pretty much an average summer. It was actually a pretty darn nice summer, really. Those years where it's uh, super dry and real hot. The leaves just kind of shrivel up and fall off but uh, it happens fast and this is kind of gradual so. it is it's uh, already october yeah. right now but, but uh check them out they're they're turning and they're falling one more thing i wanted to mention uh we talked about the fire starter earlier in the video uh we got about another 250 bags packaged up today for shipping uh we're not going to take any more orders for probably until next weekend after the Paul Bunyan show yeah, and we'll keep making it. We'll get a big inventory and I'm actually meeting Dean uh, next week sometime. He's making as many bags as he can as well. Uh, probably a couple hundred from him and not this weekend, but next we'll put it back on the website. We'll let you guys know, but it was kind of uh, overwhelming. Like I said, at the beginning of this video, I was expecting, you know, 50, 75 orders, you know, bags. Yeah. I didn't know what to expect, but it's blew like my mind over 800 it's unbelievable yeah levi's still up there right now uh packaging and shipping and all that kind of stuff but uh 
we'll get them all knocked down the next day or two. Yeah, it's incredible. Thanks for checking it out and for all the orders. Yep. And I think that's about it for today's video. Appreciate y'all being here and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks.